Hey guys, welcome to Well Reaction, wherein we discuss about the drug and their adverse reaction. In this lecture, let's focus on the main aspects of patient counseling of the drug doxycycline, an antibiotic which belongs to the class of tetracyclines that inhibit protein synthesis, which is most commonly used in the treatment of infections, acne and rosacea, against the microbes such as Mycoplasma pneumoniae, Rickettsiae, Chlamydiae, and even against methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. MRSA for short. The popular brands around are Vibramycin, Doxysip 100, Weldox 100, Dorex. Doxycycline comes in two different solid forms, hyclate and monohydrate. They are available in capsule, tablets, and even in oral suspensions. The mechanism of action of doxycycline is by binding to 30S subunit of ribosome, thus preventing aminoacyl tRNA attachment resulting in hampered protein synthesis. It is usually taken by mouth with food when the stomach is upset or without the food twice a day. Taking doxycycline with 8 ounces of water is usually recommended which roughly accounts for 250 ml or simply one and a half glass of water. By sitting in a upright position for at least 90 seconds after swallowing it. And be sure to sit up for at least 30 minutes after taking the medication so that the maximum sufficient quantity of the drug reaches your stomach. So why such precautions are required especially with the capsules than compared with the tablet? So capsule has a hygroscopic nature, thus exhibits an easier addition to the esophageal surface. Doxycycline, an acidic drug that accumulates in the epithelial cells leading to focal contact esophagitis. They can also induce ulceration of the adjacent esophageal mucosa along with its inhibitory action on the protein synthesis. When administered orally, doxycycline causes chemical injury to the adjacent tissues because of its acidic condition generated by the dissolution of the drug. This dissolved drug, that is doxycycline, also accumulates and injures the esophageal epithelial cells by inhibiting protein synthesis. If you remember, our body's metabolic process almost completely depends on the enzymatic proteins. And even if our cells are damaged, proteins are required there as well to repair them and especially doxycycline induced epithelial ulceration is commonly seen in reproductively active women as the drug is frequently prescribed to them to treat urogenital infections and acne even be careful while prescribing the drug to older patients that is geriatric patients as they have decreased esophageal motility and decreased saliva production with cardiac enlargement. A special attention is usually given with the diagnosing such esophageal ulcerations as they are the chameleons of esophageal cancer, that is, they mimic esophageal cancer. Thus, if one faces chest pain, chest tightness, difficulty in swallowing, or even painful swallowing at your mouth, throat, or esophagus, do consult the physician at your earliest. Do not take the drug with, with milk, with bismuth sulfate or even with antacid containing magnesium, aluminium and calcium or even with iron products or calcium products and laxative containing magnesium as they interfere with doxycycline making it less effective. Take doxycycline 2 hours before or 6 hours after taking these above mentioned now coming to an important unnoticed phototoxic reaction to doxycycline that is sunburn like sensation when exposed to sun in the areas like nose, upper cheeks, lips, forearms, hands, finger with moderate to intense pain or itching at these sites. So how is this happening? Principally doxycycline may cause skin sensitization by two types of reactions. Firstly, phototoxicity, which is usually mediated by free radical mechanism. Secondly, by photoallergic reactions, which is immunologically mediated 
that develops to a photoactivated compound. In this case, it's the doxycycline, which gets transformed into either haptins that gets immunologically activated only when it combines with any carrier proteins to facilitate antibody production within our body or even to a complete antigenic form due to radiation, especially with UVA of wavelength greater than 315 nanometer. Usually, symptoms resolves within 10 to 14 days after discontinuing the therapy. To avoid such irritations, one can use physical sunscreen, which contains titanium oxide preparations and even by covering with the clots. So coming to some of the common adverse effects such as gastrointestinal discomfort, photosensitivity, permanent tooth discoloration to yellow, brown or grey. This especially is important in children younger than age of 8 years as the drug binds to the calcium. Coming to the dosing of doxycycline, if you miss a dose, take the missed dose as soon as you remember of it. If it is close to the time for your next dose, then skip the missed dose and resume your normal dosing schedule. Do not take two doses at the same time or extra dose at the same time. If you are pregnant or may become pregnant, then do not take this drug. If you are on the birth control, it may not be so potential, so effective as it should be. All the forms of doxycycline need to be stored at the room temperature and a dry place protected from the sunlight. Shake the liquid well before each dose is given and discard any remaining liquid after 14 days. It's important to take this medication until fully prescribed amount is finished, even if the symptoms disappear. Thank you for watching. If you think this video helped you gain knowledge, then please consider it sharing. Let's learn together. For more such pill reaction videos, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more.